Hey Lily Pops, we're now in September. I know what you're thinking, Sadie, stop. It's way too early for the autumn hauls. I say no. Everyone's like, embrace the last part of summer. What summer? Hmm? What summer? What is this elusive summer you're talking about? I say, let's just get cracking into autumn because summer was a non-starter. Let's keep it moving, people. Today, I've got some cute little, like, transitional autumn or fall, as you American babes call it pieces from Zara and <laughs> you'll notice I don't really do a lot of Zara hauls on my channel. <laughs> I got a big box ready and I put myself through the ordeal that is their website. Why does every model need to be like, like they're literally showing like a dress and they're like this. I can't fucking see it love. I have ongoing beef with Zara, I'll be honest. I don't like Zara. I feel like the people who like Zara, there is a cult, a group of the girlies who like always find banging stuff in Zara, they worship Zara, and I just don't get it because I'll go online and everything's like this, so I never find anything. I'll go in store and be personally victimized by their changing rooms. They called me fat in 10 different languages. I really wanted to find some pieces that are gonna slot easily into my wardrobe ready for the next season and just trying to be cool because the kids on tiktok say i don't know how to dress so hopefully this will show them let's just get into it but before we do i would absolutely love it if you would give me a like comment your favorite outfit if there is any let's i'm being a bit hopeful there and subscribe because i'm really trying to get to 40k subscribers and it just means the world to me so yeah let's go get traumatized by zara yay so the first thing I got is very Sadie, very Gossip Girl. It's this cute little like striped checked skirt. I like skirts because I like short skirts, but I don't like when people can see up my skirt when I'm going up their tube escalator. So yeah, and I got this in a medium. I'm a size UK 10 on the top and 12 on the bottom if anyone wants to use me for a reference. But I also couldn't resist the matching little waistcoat. Waistcoats were around last autumn and I feel like they're not going anywhere and I kind of love the little masculine and androgynous vibe. Um, sometimes it can make me look bigger than I am just because I have boobs. So we're gonna pray for me with this first outfit. Okay, it's not amazing but it's not awful, do you know what I mean? I love the skorts, it fits really well. There is a little bit of room because I'm such a skinny bitch, but I know a small wouldn't have fit my hips. So the skirt, I can just see um, loads of opportunities for because it does really look like a skirt. You know, a little white shirt, you can layer it with big jackets. I could wear it with my little brogues given Blair Waldorf. The top, I just feel like on someone skinnier, as someone who could pull it off, it would look really edgy and cool. But on me, I just don't know if it's a little unflattering. Like, what do we think, guys? Or do we think, am I just being dramatic? Like, can I pull this look off? Anything preppy, checked, tailored is speaking my language for the autumn. I don't know why, it gives me back to school, even though I have no school to go to. So I do like it, but I don't know if enough to keep it. I think this was around $25.99 and the score was $29.99. Hmm, hmm. So next I got this really cool like cropped shirt and it has little stripes going through. It was, it was $25.99 and I got it in a medium. Um, I'm definitely gonna like I'm going to work or something. See, this is why I don't try and dress like the cool girlies and then why you all say I don't know how to dress is because when I try and dress like how everyone else dresses, I like a freak. Oh, actually, it's kind of not, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of sexy. What do you think? I love that it's oversized. I think oversized stuff kind of makes you look like smaller and daintier and it's just a bit little street style. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I don't know if it is giving like work bitch. You want a hot buddy? You want a boo buddy? You got a work bitch. Like a bit too corporate baddie when I'm, I don't need to dress like this because my work is in my pajamas in the living room. Do you know what I mean? Is it kind of even Susan from HR? They're like, oh, do you want to go to the canteen later, babe? Like, I look like I'm about to have an office romance with the finance guy from floor five. <laughs> but saying that, yeah, I like the croppedness of it. I think it would look good with jeans or trousers or like a little black skirt. There's a lot of style and opportunities. I think the price is good. It feels nice quality. And I really like the color. 
think that the stripes will suit a lot of people. You really are gonna have to take the reins of this one because I feel like I've just lost my sense of style and I don't know myself and I need people to validate me, okay? So go comment if you like this or if I just look ridiculous. I don't know. No, I can't. I feel quite sweaty, okay. I might keep it, I might keep it, I might keep it. Next up, I got this cute little denim bomber jacket. Looks a bit small, I like my jackets oversized. This was a medium and it was 50 pounds, so it wasn't cheap. I don't know why I've got a denim jacket because I actually have a million, um, but it just looked nice. It was the one thing that looked nice on the model, so. I 1000% wish I got a large or even an extra large. Like this is just not giving the cool girl energy I wanted for autumn. It feels really nice. I love the faded colour and like the little bomber style. I also kind of wish it was a zip up, but if I was to keep this, it's just actually way too small on my hips and I just, I'm not loving it. Ooh. If you get it, make sure you size up, um, but I like that the sleeves are baggy and oversized. Um, I just think it's a little too cropped and I actually do have things like this, so I, I don't really know why I bought this, but I mean it is cute guys, so... If anyone is in the market for a denim jacket, you found one here. But sadly, for me, it's getting returned. Goodbye, darlings. This dress, however, I'm very excited about because I own nothing like this. And it's just so cool. It's like this brown of leather but denim look dress with a drop waist pleated skirt. And I'm obsessed with these sort of studded belts. I just think that's like... Whoa, punk rock, edgy queen. I got this in a medium, but it wasn't cheap, I think because it's like got leather parts. Um, so this was actually 50 pounds. I don't know what I was doing. Like, was I drunk the other night when I ordered all this? But let's hope it looks good. No one say anything. No one say anything. No one talk. No one talk. No one talk. Because what in the Hunger Games Katniss Everdeen potato sack the fuck is this? Like, I... Guys, <laughs> this is what I mean. Zara. Oh, no. Oh my god. I knew I had a flat body, but there's levels of flat body, and this is the flattest. Oh. Why did I think this would look nice? Like, do I have no concept of like my body shape? Because if it was, do you know what? If this was high waisted and the belt was here and the pleats were there, this would have been a 10 out of 10. But of course, that's just going to cling to my belly. I think. I have body dysmorphia the other way where I think I'm like skinnier than I am. So when I shop and I see it looks nice on the model, I'm like, oh yeah, that will look great on you, Sadie. Firstly, I can barely get into it. It's a medium, but I don't know. I do, I'll be honest, I like the concept and I feel like it had potential, like the colour, like if it was high waisted, like I like the concept. This with like little boots would have slapped. I'm not putting it off. This is the perfect example of when a dress is wearing you and you're not wearing the dress. So at least I've saved £50. I basically got £50 now. What if I send it back? Girl math. Right, I have wanted this leather jacket ever since I saw everyone wearing it. I know what you're going to say, oh, but everyone has it. Well, yes, everyone has it because it's nice. Like, it's gorgeous. Of course, everyone has it. Again, I got it in a medium. It's probably going to be too small, but it's really cool. It's like a crop jacket with the belt round kind of like faded brown it cost 60 pounds so i was hoping to wear it with this dress i'll put it on anyway to be honest with the jacket the dress now looks cool so this jacket of a little skirt it feels so nice like really nice quality i look like a rock chick like i'm about to go up in camden love i just love their oversized sleeves i am very short i have short arms i'm five foot three for anyone who wants a reference I still think I probably should have got a large just because I'm thinking like chunky knits and things but this will look good over jeans it's just one of those throw on things even over like cycling shorts to the airport like it's just a, a sort of essential awesome piece I get off the shoulder hey boys no don't ever do that don't ever do that again Sadie but yeah, I love, love, love this. What do you think? Should I return and get a large instead? They had so many colours, so many styles. So if you're in the market for a leather jacket, look no further. Okay, it was nice to finally get a win, Zara, after all these outfits. But Jesus, I'm like actually sweating now. For some reason, the other day, I felt like ruining my self-esteem when I ordered from here because I've ordered a pair of jeans from Zara, who notoriously are just hard on curvier girls. I've got these really cute wide leg 
like grey wash jeans in a size 12 because I don't actually have any grey jeans and I'm really loving grey for autumn. I think the tone really suits my colour palette so if I can't get these on I'm actually just never going on YouTube ever again. I'm never ordering from Zara again. And to try with it, I got this gorge little like sheer ruched cardigan. Again, grey. This sort of like silvery gunmetal grey. So flattering. So cute. Will go with so many outfits and it's like subtly sexy. I got this in a medium and it was $22.99. Guys, this is the situation. We've got the top bit up. Oh my god. Oh, this is so big. <gasps> I actually had to ask for attack last week, so this is gonna induce another one. No, that ain't normal. Why did I wake up and choose violence? Because that is the most uncomfortable jean. They would have actually been nice. They would have actually been fire. I could get a 14, but out of principle, I feel like if you're not making jeans for standard, the standard UK sizing, most of my size 12s have like a tiny bit of room on the waist. These, I can't even breathe, like, what? Like, I thought, oh, it's actually giving me pains. It's actually giving me pains. Okay. They weren't cute. If you're smaller than me, they have a really nice wash. I will be honest, they're quite long. I'll try and show you. Like, they're going past, they'll be dragging on the floor. I am quite short, though. So, to be fair, I probably would have ended up returning them anyway. But it is a shame. I mean, I could get a 40. No. I'll just find some grey jeans from somewhere else. Or lose weight, find some grey jeans from somewhere else. <laughs> this top, however, gorge, 10 out of 10. This is just me in a top, just wearing a nude bra, but I thought it would look really see-through, but it's like just the perfect amount of see-through and it has little thumb holes, which always make me feel like Ben 10 or something, or like Spider-Man, like they just make me feel ready, ready to go. Love the ruching, I love that you can see my tattoos definitely keeping this so you know you win some you lose some i need to honestly <sighs> oh my god i can't even tell you how uncomfortable that was <laughs> so we'll endure a little longer of these jeans just because i have this last thing to try which is this sort of like frilly blouse and i thought it's quite preppy and just sweet great transitional piece with jeans or a little skirt and like loafers but it was a whopping 35.99 i mean it does feel like really good material um and made well so that might be why as you guessed i got it in a medium i mean i mean she's cute she is cute it's like daisy jones of the six hippies like in the river do you remember that song from them? I like the sleeves. Is it giving like Shakespearean? It's giving Mercutio, Romeo or Mercutio. What, what else? What, what other names are in Romeo and Juliet? I digress. I like the like little lace up bit, but it's a bit springy. I just don't know if Zara is for me. I think I'm just gonna, you know, politely decline to ever go on Zara website ever again. I did find like three things I'm gonna keep maybe. Obviously let me know in the comments if you think I'm just being dramatic or if my style is just the ugliest thing ever and I should quit all my social media and should never call myself a fashion blogger again. Let me know um, because I'm struggling these days. It's cute, but is it like, oh my god, I love it so much, I want to wear all the time? No. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this haul and me have a slight breakdown. I always appreciate it. You know, not every haul is a 10 out of 10 slay, and that's what we found out. And you know what? That's okay. It doesn't mean you're in your flop era. It means you're just a girl trying her best to fit into the UK loose standardized sizing um please recommend me places to shop where you think will be more my style better sizing things like that and i hope you have the best week i will see you on a sunday bye